Well, here we are, first day, Feeder Masters team at the fabulous, beautiful Rudyard Lakes. Look at that. And uh, our team today, we've got three good ones. Well, we think three good ones, three we're happy with. And uh, and one we ain't, we're not. And guess where I'm on? The one we're not. And I've got, a, I've got my work cut out today. But look at that. Thank you. Look at them houses there, a million pound them. Can you believe that? What a place. Could do we a bit of wind on? It's it, although it is windy, it's blowing off his back. And uh, I think there'll be a lot of boat traffic today as you can see. I mean you know we it's a great place for fishing but obviously we we don't come near the top when it comes to all the amenities and fair enough like we've all got shake water and I uh, I get that. Uh, but I've drawn permanent peg 77 um, and it's I mean C section C6 I think it is and that's the lady there look and uh, straight opposite it's about eight foot deep and I'm quite it's tight here really tight a lot, yesterday when we were pleasuring I mean the, the pegs are 30 yards but I've got 15 that side and 17 other one. Well, I've got Eddie, Eddie Bride in there, look side of that tree, I'll be under that, per under that tree catching perch. Um, so I'm, I'm quite hemmed in to be honest with you. Um, which makes a massive difference. Even in practice you could tell a difference in the... So, if I, I'll be honest with you, I'd take a 15 section now and not fish. I'd, I'd be more than happy with that. In, in our section there's four, at least four pegs, got loads of space and it made a massive difference in practice. Like, you can't believe, massive difference. But it's what it is, I've, I've got it, and just up to the three, we're gonna have to drag me out of it today. Uh, we've got Cookie on peg five, which is peg our fish yesterday, so he'll get a few bites and get a few bites there. And um, we've got Speedy on 20, which is uh, the end peg in that section, but it's, there's a gap then, so he's got the peg towards the gap, which is really good, that really fancy him to certainly be top two there. Uh, there's a point with a few fish, so that, that might make a difference. And then we've got Sean on 31. Now, that end's not been great, and he's the first peg in that section, so I think he could be right end. Um, so I think we'd have took them three, and so you're not going to get four good pegs, are you? It's just a way of team fishing, so what I've got to do is try and finish fourth, fifth, or sixth, I think, so I can't, because Dean's on one. Um, there's a long gap to two then. And then three, four, five, six, seven, quite tight. And then they've got a bit of space with there. We're making Adam are making. So we've got some proper England internationals in our section um, up there. So they're going to have a peg to peg battle. So I can remember them too, Mick, having a. Uh, in Scar in 2014, they had a, they had a thing all lost lo lo weight between practice and. and uh, an actual match and they stripped down to the pants and got weighed down in in the scar of there <laughs> macaron and uh, Mick won that one paralyzed it so uh, hopefully Adam Wakely will be trying to get his, his own back today so basically it's a team job so no gambling today you just I'm just fishing for everything so you can see you can see with bait trail up there's casters worms maggots uh, some red worms, straightforward. It, it, I'm not complicating it. I'm fishing that way, why am I fishing that way? I know you're going to ask that question. Well, it's quite simple, I'm going to hold rod. Um, and, and when I'm holding rod, I always fish it to my left because I'm right handed, and because then what happens is that the, my arm's bent, because my arm's bent, it's easy to strike. So when I hold the rod, I always fish it to my left. And, uh, and when I'm putting it down, I put it to me to me right. So I've got four rods set up. You see there I've got a banjo, two open ended feeders and a feeding rod. And that's about it. Um, my lines, I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, I don't want to get too much away while Sunday now I'll get a full rundown. But it's a great event. I mean it's feeder masters, top 10 teams from feeder masters round so they qualified for this final. And it's almost like a hoo hoo in feeder fishing. It's incredible the line when you look down the bank and see the anglers that are in it. You know, with, with the ringers and Barnsley and Preston lads and you know the local lads are fishing it. 
it's inc it's an incredible lineup. In fact, it's a great if you're in the, the area, come down in the next two days and come and watch some of these lads fish. They're absolutely awesome, and uh, it's it, it's a great event. It's sponsored by Sono, it's run by Lee and Mick, and uh, just well, there's not there's not many better organisers than uh, than them lads. I'll tell you, done a great job. It's a, it's a massive event in our calendar now, but it's only day one, and what we've got to do. Uh, we've got to keep in it, so basically just keep putting fish in and see what happens. And if you're on my Facebook page tonight, I'll let you know how we've gone on first day and hopefully we're not out of it. And uh, I've had a good day because I think I, for us to do really well, I need to do I need to do well here for lads. So I'd rather do my best and uh, see what happens. But wow, what a place! What a place! It's it's actually staggering. So right, have a great day.